Hello folks and welcome to the Mindfulness Garden Online. Um, here today I'm actually in my backyard and um, I didn't really have time to get to the farm before sunset so I thought it would be better to have a video which at least has um, enough light. So today's um, video I'm going to concentrate on um, one of the five ways to being, to well-being, sorry, which is to learn. And what does it mean to learn something and to use learning as a way of well-being? Well, if we can learn and continue to learn, we can uh, broaden our horizons and adapt and uh, we, with new knowledge we can do things um, differently so we don't have to repeat old patterns. We can learn new things and move forward with new ideas, new practices, new techniques, new skills. So I suppose um, one of the questions is um, yeah, what, like I said, what does it mean to, to learn? So, in terms of the natural world and nature connection, um, there's lots of different ways in which we can learn. And so what we've been doing in the Mindfulness Garden has been, a lot of it has been noticing. So this links to one of the other five ways to well-being, to notice. And what are we doing when we're noticing? So we're um, taking things in, perceiving things, um, sometimes, uh, you know, deliberately using the five senses. And a lot of the time, we are not necessarily focused on using the cerebral brain and um, necessarily analysing, but just noticing so, for example, this flower here in the front, in the foreground, um, I mean, to you, it may look a slightly different colour to me because I can see it on the screen and I can see it in real life. And I have to say, those two colours do look slightly different. So, rather than trying to name it, um, what is our experience of that colour? What is our experience of the shape? Um, <clears throat> do we feel like we know this flower recognize it you know it's very tempting to just give it a name as the first thing if we happen to know a name for it um you know our mind is very used to categorizing and so our in uh, sort of cerebral instinct is to give it a name um, but one of the things we do in forest schools is um, encourage practitioners to learn to describe the plant or learn to kind of imagine it's uh, you know if it was um, describing it in terms of an animal you know this this is a spiky one um, so not necessarily giving it a name but trying to uh, focus more on the experience of it um, However, obviously, if we are um, wanting to learn, we might well want to learn the name of the plant. We want, might want to learn the uses of it. We want, might want to learn if it, it's uh, edible, medicinal, or if it's used for other things. Uh, perhaps different cultures use it differently. Um, so all these things are part of our learning. And... Yeah, and all the cerebral things are also of interest. So I suppose I'm, I'm uh, just trying to express that learning might be considered having lots of different modalities. It might be drawing the plant. It might be, um, yeah, like I said, meeting it with all the senses, smelling it, tasting it, as long as you know it's edible. Um, so yeah, so that, that's uh, kind of the focus for today. And I guess the invitation is to keep learning, so um, perhaps deliberately notice plants and also see if you can learn a thing or two about them. It might just be describing them, 
but if you can learn the name, the uses, um, you know, why not? It brings us closer to those.